Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a post burn review of Bath & Body Works Frosted Spearmint. This was out this year, new for holiday 2020. I purchased this. This was my first haul. I purchased this and then also Christmas Cider and the Gingerbread Marshmallow. I already did a review, a post burn review on the Gingerbread Marshmallow and now my second one from that collection I'm reviewing is the Frosted Spearmint. So it's in this nice little, whatever collection this is called. Was it the Fairyland collection or something maybe? Or is that the other one? I don't know, I get confused with these collections. It's the one that's got the little deer here and it's got the illuminated little design here and it's got the snowflakes all around the back on that one, if you can see there. There you go. And then it has a little design here. I originally thought it was like, I heard people mention it looked like, like shattered glass. But then I saw on Instagram that somebody had mentioned that they thought it looked like frost. And I thought, you know, that totally makes sense for this collection, for it to be like frost. You know how when you when your windows and stuff get frost on them and it kind of has, that kind of looks like it a little bit. I'm thinking maybe that's what they meant for that to look like, kind of like frost on the window or something or frost forming. I mean, it makes sense with the packaging that that would be frost, not broken glass really so maybe that's what they meant for it to be frost I don't know it kind of makes more sense that way than it might work I I still not super crazy about it but I could understand what they were going for if they meant for it to look like frost so frosted spearmint reads frozen apple snow-capped mint creamy sandalwood iced musk with the essential oils so I really, really like this one. I liked it on Cold Sniff and I really enjoyed it when burning. It was so good. I love this one. It was like so wintry and fresh and like minty. So good. It's not, it definitely is minty. But to me, it's not like spearmint. It says frost of spearmint on the front, but then the notes it just says snow capped mint. It doesn't say spearmint and to me, it's not like spearmint gum at all. It doesn't even really remind me of spearmint necessarily. It's more of like, definitely a mint, but more like a, a cool, like icy mint. Yeah, like a, like a polar icy mint or something like that. I really like the mint that is in there though, but it doesn't really remind me of spearmint, but it's definitely an icy cool mint. And then you do get a little slight hit of that apple in there. Just, a, it's not super apple-y, but you just get maybe a tad bit of a hint of an apple in there mixed in with that mint. And then you do get a little slight bit of sandalwood too, but it's not like a real, you know, woodsy sandalwoody candle. And then that musk, it's a little musky a little bit. I think that sandalwood and musk kind of blend together. Um, and kind of uh, meld, kind of meld in, mold, meld in, mold in with that. It's molded in with that spearmint a little bit. I think it's a really good blend. It doesn't remind me of winter. It's got that coolness. It's you know those icy wintry scents. You got your frozen lakes and stuff that remind you of that cool icy winter. It's that cool peppermint. It's like an icy cool pepper, not peppermint. Icy cool mint. It's not peppermint and it's not remind me of spearmint. It doesn't remind me of spearmint or peppermint. It's just like a. It's definitely like a cool mint. Yeah. Like the gum. It's definitely not, not like spearmint gum. It's like that gum that's like um, I don't even remember what it's called. I wanted to say. I think there's a polar mint. I don't remember if I said this in my haul. There, I think there's like a polar ice gum, but there is one polar ice gum that I think that smells like Pepto-Bismol. I know wintergreen smells like Pepto-Bismol, but I think there's also like a polar, some some polar ice gum that's also like kind of Pepto-Bismol-y, but then there's other gums that are like, um, just like ice or something, mint ice or something like that. And they're just like, it's not really peppermint. It's not really spearmint. It's just kind of like a really strong mint. It just icy like mint. That's exactly what this this is what that reminds me of. Very wintry like. It's it's so good. And when I burned this, I just couldn't get enough of it. I'm like, that smells so good. It was such a unique blend and it didn't remind me of anything that I smelled before. It's just really nice, different. It's 
something different rather than the typical cinnamons and pine and gingerbread and cookie and all that stuff you burn in the winter if you like something different minty cool slightly sandalwoody musky just a little hint of apple i like it. i think it's different and i really really enjoy this when i burn this one so the burn we'll talk about that next if you can see here i'm almost done i have like maybe one more burn left it's like way at the bottom here it's still doing pretty good it's it's like way down here. I'm, it's probably gonna put itself out on the next burn. Um, it's been clean burn, there's no soot or anything on there. The flames did get puny though. At the halfway point, it puned out on me. The flames got puny and I did cotton ball it quite a few times after the halfway point. But as soon as I cotton balled it, it the flames shot back up and it was fine. Once I, sometimes when they got puny, the, the scent was a little bit lighter. The throw was a little bit lighter and then when I cotton balled it, the flames got hotter, stronger, and the wax got hotter, and it threw that scent even stronger. It was back to no problem at all. So I'm okay with that. I mean, it's kind of just a given thing with Bath & Body Works anymore that you probably know there's probably like a 90% chance that the wicks are going to get puny at the halfway point. On the rare occasion, you'll get one that burns perfectly all the way down, but majority of the time, they pune out at the halfway point. That's just kind of what it is. It's kind of, a, it's kind of what you... The price you pay but it, but usually their candles are really strong for the most part and even when you do cotton ball it it's a little bit lighter when the flames get like i said when the flames get puny the scent throw does get diminished a little bit because the wax isn't quite as hot but then when you cotton ball it the flames shoot back up it gets hotter and then it gets stronger again most always it, it usually starts throwing really well again and so as long as yeah it kind of sucks to have to cotton ball it like that but as long as you do that and then it's just back to normal, throwing really well, burning really well after that, then I'm okay with that because I don't, maybe one day they'll correct it to where most of their candles won't do that and they will all burn fine and high flames all the way down. I don't know, somebody had mentioned too that maybe sometimes when you put more scent oils in the candles that that attributes to wick problems and that's maybe why they're getting puny flames because the more scent oil affects the burn sometimes. So if that's the case, I would rather have more scent oil and then have to deal with the puny wick syndrome halfway point rather than have less scent oil in order to have a perfect burn all the way down but then have less scent oil and less throw i wouldn't want that either just to get a perfect burn i wouldn't want less scent oil so i'm i'm happy with having more scent oil and then just have to cotton ball at the halfway point but then it still throws well and you still smell it so i guess that is what it is on the burn with bath and body works and i'll insert some footage here of the burn i did some footage here, let me insert some footage. As you can see here, it looks really, really pretty in the front here. It illuminates really pretty with the candle lit. It just shines right through that front of that jar with the reindeer on the front there. It looks so pretty. And then on the sides, you can see in the, well the sides in the back, it has the snowflakes that illuminate through the jar as well. Those look really pretty when lit up. They shine through really, really bright. I didn't know which side I wanted to face to me. If I wanted the snowflakes facing forward or the front part because they both look pretty. Depends on where you're at. If you sit it somewhere where you can see the back and the front, you're doing good. But otherwise, if you're just, if it's like towards a wall or something, you have to figure out which side you want frontwards. But it looks so good on all sides of it when it's lit up. So the throw on this one, it was, it was good for most of the whole thing. I'd probably say on average, the throw was probably like it eight to eight and a half even beard up to nine at times it was really good i had no problems smelling it as soon as i lit this thing within like barely 15 20 minutes like it started throwing and then never had a problem it was through all the way to the very bottom in the very bottom burn it's throwing really good brad was in the bedroom my husband brad and he was like he was making the bed and he's like man you sure can't smell that candle so yeah really good i liked it a lot like I said, it did get just a little bit lighter when the flames got puny at the halfway point, but I mean, not that much lighter. Probably maybe like down to like a seven and a half, seven maybe at the lowest. But then when you cotton balled it, got back up there to eight, eight and a half. It was perfect. I love this candle. Highly recommend this candle. So check it out, Frosted Spearmint. It is now for sale at Bath & Body Works White Barn Stores. Really good, I highly recommend it. All right, so thanks for watching and I'll talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.